Marco Supercar Blondie here in Paris. I literally just flew in last night. We've got an amazing car planned for you today and we're on our way there right now. This is pretty cool. Seems like a PlayStation. Yeah, you accidentally knocked a button and the PlayStation came out. Look, look, look at this. Like I can pull the TV up here. And look. You say bye to the driver and voila, there's me on screen. Exciting stuff. Is that your favorite channel to Oh, watch? it's my favorite. <laughs> Whenever I'm, I'm not filming YouTube, I'm watching my own YouTube. <laughs> it's a bit gray today, isn't it? We're gonna hope for some let up in the rain so that we can take this car outside and give it a bit of a go. This is always the, the problem with shooting in Europe. <laughs> Dubai, it's always sunny. We come over here and we just have to pray for a break in rain so that we can get our shoot done. Oh, coffee. behind us is crazy. All right, this car does something that you've never seen a car do before. Watch what happens. Boom, now you have an elongated version of the same car. That's crazy. So now what you can do is you can fit in a whole extra battery pack their idea is they would have these little platforms, Renault platforms around the city where you just drive onto the platform. In a matter of seconds, your battery pack will be placed into the car and off you go again, which gives you more power and extra range. It goes from 400 kilometer range to 700 kilometer range. Now you can take those family trips like weekend trips away, etc. And then in the back, what it's done is this whole part has extended out, which gives you more leg room for the passengers, backseat passengers, and now you can fit in two more suitcases in the back. This is a car from Renault, as you can see here, and it's actually called Morphous. See how they have this really bright yellow color here? They've done that on purpose because that's the way you can see that this car actually moves. If everything was in silver or black, you would never notice that the tail end moves at all. Same with this thing here. This comes out and then disappears when the back end moves in. Around here on the front, look, this is where everything is being cooled. They've actually put these air vents in here. That actually works to cool the radio and radiator and then the radiator cools all the batteries and the working bits and pieces that go into an electric motor, right? They actually have a ruler here on top of the car that shows you just how much it's extended by. This front section extends by 25 centimeters and then the back extends by another 15 centimeters. Okay, should we get in? How you get into this car, it has facial recognition. That's this, this bit right here. And then it also has gesture control to open up the door. So you just got to do this. Okay, come look at this. We'll open up the back because this is quite cool. They're using this kind of graphic art again here inside. If you look at the floor from this direction, my direction, you've got a black floor and then you go around the other way and you've got a completely yellow floor. On top, they're actually made of recycled yogurt cups. They're thinking of reusable materials for the future. When this car is in its long form version, look what happens to the front passenger seat. It's now facing the back passengers. Now, this isn't a new concept. We have seen this before where the chair does turn to face the back passengers, but I've never seen it actually just flip upside down. And this part here where your legs were is now actually your headrest. That's quite a cool maneuver, I think. And what they're trying to do here is on longer trips, you can kind of have more of a family feel. You can sit here and chat to your kids or chat to your mates when you're on these long trips. Okay, there's more cool stuff. Watch this wood here. This whole panel is made of wood. I'm gonna show you what that does. All right, I've got my phone here with me. Now look at what this wood can do. So the wood kind of like sucks your phone into the car, which is quite cool. I've never seen that happen before either. So what happens is it recognizes your phone and then this whole front panel opens up. 
So you can either have it in this very discreet kind of form with nothing there, or this. You've got multiple screens in front of you. Now this actually connects to your calendar and your agenda in your phone and it then knows exactly what you're doing that day. We're gonna go for a drive in a sec, but I just wanna show you my view. This is how it looks here in the, in the driver's seat. This is the steering wheel. It looks kind of cool. It's got these little lights, kind of Star Trek lights. Everything can be controlled on the steering wheel. You've got nothing else here other than your phone. And that's it, just an accelerator and a brake pedal. This car actually drives. I'm gonna take it out just for a little bit of a spin, like an eeny, mini, miny one. All right. Okay, parking off. Neutral, and then into drive. Okay, off we go. The floor's a bit squeaky because we're in a design studio. But we're heading outside now. Now the car has a range of 700 kilometers and it also has more power from the extra batteries that have been fitted down here. Look, I can see its reflection here. <laughs> it's sexy. I really like it. Now, Lawrence is here, the head of design for Renault. Hi. Hey. How are you? How nice are you? to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. God, I didn't Come expect you here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> this is <the> last place. <laughs> In a new concept car. I'm here. Surprise. So Lawrence is the chief designer at Renault and one of the job descriptions is to match your shoes to the car of the day which he has beautifully done. I can't believe you do that, that is awesome. Yeah, well, it takes a lot of work, you know. It's actually harder work than doing the car. That's why he rocks up at midday every day. He's too busy match matching his shoes. Last time we were with Lawrence, we were actually checking out the Renault Trezor. If you haven't yet seen that video, go check it out. If you haven't seen it, you are missing out, guys. The title of that video is The Most Beautiful Car in the World, and it is. So go click on that video. The link to the video is in the description just underneath this video. Go check it out right after this. All right, so here we are in your, yeah, newest baby, the Morphus. Yeah. And it kind of does what it says on the tin. It morphs. Like it actually exactly. morphs. Yeah, exactly. That's madness. Yeah, because the families are changing so often today. We thought about a car that can change according to the needs. So mm -hmm. you have no restrictions. If you're on a long trip, you add some batteries, you need some more luggage space, you want some more space actually to enjoy and, and, and share each other's company. Yeah. If you're in a town and you're hustling around, you just want to have a compact car. Yeah. You don't need to slap all these batteries around because they're very heavy. Right. And in that sense, you can have the best of both worlds. You know, Porofos is actually two cars in one. This actually is a... I suppose a screen that everyone can use if you're on longer trips, right? You yeah, need some kind of entertainment. We're using the interior living materials, you know, when you store your cell phone, you yeah. see that the wood actually folds down. If you touch the wood, you know, there's light that actually appears. Mm. And then we have, uh, this is the extended mode where you can actually do several things. So we have here, you know, a, oh, a, a games. game. Maybe if you remember when you were Ooh. young that we played uh, Pong endlessly <laughs> for hours and this hours. This is awesome. Yeah, this is kind of a a tongue-in-cheek uh, play on oh everything gosh. that is, you know, today is all artificial intelligence, etc. But I wish, but as kids, we did ha actually have some entertainment like this on long trips. Exactly. There was nothing. Yeah, so you can have music and we try to make it look like you flip through your albums, you know, and you can, pl you can play the music you like. That's cool. In any case, this whole interior is trying to adapt itself. It, it stretches it out for, for a long-term trip. Mm. But it can also, you know, it has an, an artificial intelligence. It kind of figures out where you want to go and yeah. it proposes you stuff on the road so if you're out of ideas if you say where the hell are we you yeah. know what can we do here uh, 
it can actually suggest you things. And this is what we expect to happen more and more, that the car becomes intelligent. Right. The car becomes more and more human. We have a human-centric approach in our design. Right. So the car is becoming your partner, you know, your partner in crime, if you will. That's cool. More and more, we want to also show off that this is not a, just a, a very sustainable car, but that you can also see it and, and feel it as a customer. So all these materials, these textiles, mm. they are made with uh, fabrics that are very low in terms of water usage. Okay. The recycled materials for the flooring is, is, is recycled plastics you know, the seat belts, everything. We think there's a real card to play to, to give people not only to know that their car is very CO2 friendly, but yeah. actually to actually touch and feel it, you know, right. we want to give you this experience. Right, right. Talk to me about this story, because I can see the rim kind of overlaps some of the, the tire itself. Yeah, obviously, we, we always want the, uh, the rims to look as big as possible, yeah. you know. We, we try to make the design look very big, so we put a lot of the mass on the outside of the wheel, but we can also, in this case, extend the wheel beyond the normal rim. Yeah. And this is really great, because then the wheel looks enormous. Yeah. It's actually helping uh, aerodynamics because it's very flush. You know, it, it's it, everything is completely fluid. Right, and between this surface and this surface. Exactly, so right. you don't have air that is creating all kinds of uh, right. dis disturbances. What I think is really cool about this car is it does look cool in both versions. Yeah long and short how do you even do that because it's a challenge just to get one car one car looking good isn't it but you've yeah, actually exactly. got to design two cars in one yeah because normally we work really hard to get every you know line exactly where we want it to be right. and then we're quite happy and relieved if we manage <laughs> yeah. to know this car is moving yeah so it actually plays plays with your uh, impressions when yeah. when the car is short it's actually a bit more aggressive mm. and it feels like it could you know get through the urban jungle really well right you know and it, and i think it has a kind pushing of pushing without the indicator yeah it on, feels right? like the whole car is this bundled up muscle you know yeah whereas if it's long you want it stretched and you want just like a you know like the tgv the, the high-speed trains right. you know that just slices through the air right and we have both characters in this vehicle yeah it's very cool but if you talk to the concept car builders this this was by far the most <laughs> difficult did project. they hate you when you yeah. came to them like listen I mean, guys yeah, you're gonna were. make a big car now you have to shorten it like by 40 centimeters go <laughs> and not only that but everything moves you know even the the way yeah. the, the living screen comes out yeah there were in certain instances there was only two millimeter of play you know yeah. between one piece moving and Wow. So it's not just the concept car slapped together. This is really, you know, high tech, uh, high precision work to make this all uh, come together. So the concept car guys haven't slept in two years, basically. No, they'll probably be catching up right now. <laughs> right now, yeah. Well, it's, it's fantastic and I really um, congratulate you guys. Massive thank you to Lawrence for coming down, the head of design here at Renault. You can actually go follow him and get like the inside scoop on all the Renault, new Renault designs here that is his handle go give him a follow so you guys know exactly what's happening and a massive thank you to reno as well for organizing all of this today for us to see and to you guys for watching i love you guys so much yeah i think we're out all right that's it bye love you